My name is Ross Bodine from Alta Physical Therapy and Pilates here in Boulder, Colorado, on behalf of BAM, the Boulder Aquatic Masters, and I'm going to walk you through a swimming warm up to do before you jump into the pool. Um, so this can be done poolside or even at your home before you drive to the pool. Um, and your muscles should stay active and warm enough through that process. Uh, the main purpose of this is to get all of the contractile fibers working in the muscles, mainly the rotator cuff, the trapezius, and the serratus anterior that wraps around the side. And um, I'm gonna have Niffer start by reaching up into the Y. And here, really trying to rotate the elbow pits up towards the ceiling rotating the palms up towards the ceiling. And this is really getting that serratus anterior to pull the shoulder blades into that fully upwardly rotated position and getting that rotator cuff to fully engage here. From here, I want her to pull down into a W position, really reaching her fingers back towards her, her shoulders and then extending the elbows and Pulling back up into that W and reaching up into that Y. As she continues through this, I really want her to move slowly, focusing on that muscle engagement all around the shoulder to really get the rotator cuff and scapula stabilizers working. And then I want her to lift up into a Superman rather than lifting her up. Um, feet and hands up towards the ceiling as much as possible. I want her to reach away from one another. As she does that, she'll really feel her core engage a little bit more. And then start adding a little bit of a wiggle into those motions. Um, we're getting the spine working throughout this. There's a little bit of rotation happening, which occurs with swimming. To add a little bit more rotation, I want her to side bend towards me and then side bend away going back and forth five times on each side she should be pretty fatigued and next i'll have her push up into a plank starting to get a little bit more of the pecs um, engaged with that rotator cuff stability um, and with the last one we got the spinal extensors um, glutes and hamstrings working now we're going to get more of the abs and hip flexors so i want her to pull herself back with her hips and then pull herself forward with her shoulders. So her shoulders and hips are fighting each other a little bit throughout that motion. And then we'll also add a little bit of rotation as she's pulling herself back here. I want her to reach back with one arm, pull forward with that grounded arm and then switch sides, pulling back with the hips and pulling forward with the shoulders. Again, five reps on each side. She should be pretty warm and ready to jump into the pool after this. All right, that should do it.